is going on guys and welcome back to the fifth installment of Police Cars. Today we're going to be at Sweetwater PD. Uh, Sweetwater is a city located in the Miami-Dade County area. Matter of fact, it's right across the street from the main FIU campus. I don't know if you guys can see it in the back. Back there it says FIU. I don't know if you can see it. Today I'm going to be meeting up with one of their officers here at Sweetwater PD and he's going to be showing us around one of the vehicles that they have in their fleet. Um, but I don't have to meet him for another five minutes, so why don't we uh, sneak in and take a preview of what they got? Oh, I know you guys are liking this. A two-tone Crown Vic, got a black and white Crown Vic. It's like an older scheme, and then they got the all black with the, with the new scheme here. Awesome stuff. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's going on? How you doing? How you doing? Can I help you? Uh, yes, I have a meeting with one of your guys here. We're supposed to do a rundown on one of your vehicles. Oh. I'm Nick. Uh, I have an off-duty channel on YouTube. We do the series Police Cars. Right. And, uh, man, you guys got some sweet rides back here. Nice, man. Listen, you know this is a restricted area, right? Oh. Okay. No, didn't know that. Yeah, the chief saw you outside and told me to come get you. He wants to speak to you. He knows who you are, so. The chief? Yeah, the chief. Uh-oh. I feel like I'm getting in trouble, like I'm going to the principal's office. This is not good. I had an appointment with one of your officers, though. Okay. Is that going to be an issue? No, it's not going to be an issue, man. I'm just messing with you, man. Oh, my God, uh, you got me. How's it going, man? Officer Jonathan Archie. Uh, yeah, we spoke over the phone, man. I'm a big time fan of your videos. Oh, my God, bro. You. You. You're good, you. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your video on FHP. I was wondering when you're going to stop by over here. We're next door. Oh, I vote, man. Uh, I must say, Oh, I'm loving the schemes right from the get. Yeah, it's a new scheme that we actually incorporated. Uh, I saw that you were looking at our two-tone. Uh, we're slowly transitioning away from that, and we've gone to the all-black with gray lettering. Awesome stuff. So do we really have to meet the chief? Uh, yes, we do. That we still have to do. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right, let's go. You going to take me in? Yeah, let's go. What's up, my friend? How you doing, oh, hey, sir? Bro. How you doing? All good, man. Good welcome, to welcome to our home. Come oh. in, it's your home too. Come on. So, Chief, I just want to thank you for having us, and especially having the Nod Squad here to come to your department and check out some of your vehicles. Man, thank you. I appreciate it. We're bringing this department to the 21st century. We're introducing a brand new fleet of LPR cars, and I have my good friend Jonathan Archie, who's going to lead the way, showing you what we're bringing to this department and how we're going forward in the 21st century here. Thanks again, Nick, for you and all the hard work that you do. Appreciate it, man. Awesome, sir. Thank you so much. All right, you ready to roll? Let's do this. Let's rock and roll. Thank you, Chief. So where are we going? Well, I'm going to take you uh, out to the back, actually, where you were snooping around earlier. Oh. Now, real quick, before we go out there. Yeah. I see uh, your last name. Yeah. Can, for the rest of the time, please. Can I call you? Officer Archie. <laughs> Archie. You know, I've gotten that a lot ever since I was a little kid, so I mean, why not? Sure. Awesome. From now on, it's, oh, Archie. <laughs> All right, there you go. All right. Is the vehicle back here? No, not yet. It's on its way. She'll be here shortly. All right. Um, so, Archie. <laughs> Tell us about your uh, department a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. So, like I was telling you, we are a professionally accredited law enforcement agency, which is huge. Uh, we have about 55 full-time law enforcement officers here at our department. And just to run you down about some of the uh, units that we have here, we have our K-9 unit. Uh, we have our motor unit. We have our GIU, which is the General Investigations Unit, our detectives that handle the major crimes here in our city. And we're also working on a drone project uh, so that we can have a drone unit here very shortly. A drone unit? Absolutely, a drone unit. But not here, not right now. Not here, not right now. But I, I'll tell you what, if, uh, if you want, you can come back and check that out. Oh, Archie. <laughs> All right, guys, we just locked them into another vlog. Let's Absolutely. see how many we can get today. The vehicles, uh, talk to you a little bit about our vehicles. Um, that's why you're here, obviously. This is our old school Crown Vic. This is the, the original two-tone paint job that we have. It's actually still a, a favorite among some of the officers. Uh, we transitioned into the all-black Crown Vic, uh, which is one of my favorites. And you know, the Crown Vic's you know, a favorite in law enforcement, as right. you know. And we transitioned. Then finally, it's gonna be our final transition into the, uh, the brand new Explorers, the all-black paint job with the, uh, with the gray lettering. Uh, we still do use our Tahoes, which is, uh, which is uh, a very big thing for officers. So we also have those, and we're uh, transitioning to new Tahoes as well. I see some unmarked Tahoes yeah, over here. These are administration Tahoes. Like I told you, we're transitioning into the brand new ones of 2019. Uh, so that's very exciting for them. And yeah, these are our administrative Tahoes. I see a lot of marked units too. So these are admin, I right. see marked. Right. You and guys we, have uh, UC vehicles on the Absolutely, yeah, yeah. We have UC vehicles. Obviously, we can't show you those because then they wouldn't be undercover anymore. There you go. <laughs> so, 
So, um, all our vehicles are not actually here. Uh, we're getting ready to do shift change here very shortly, so they are on the road. We do have a take-home car program for all our officers, which is a huge, huge plus for them. And, uh, and it's something that you should look out for when we uh, put out our hiring uh, campaign. Hey, so, okay, so you're hiring soon? Yeah, we'll be hiring soon. Where can they follow so when you make the announcement, when you're open, they can go and apply? Absolutely. You guys can follow us on Sweetwater PD. That's our Instagram handle. I happen to run that page, so I'm very I'm very quick to respond to uh, anybody that has any questions or, or, or comments. You got Twitter fingers? I got Twitter fingers, too. Our Twitter's, uh, we just put up our Twitter now, so I'm working on that. Uh, but I, I, I do hope to have the, the Twitter fingers. <laughs> Is that her? That's the beauty coming in right now to our parking lot. Is that the only one you guys have? No, we have several of those. We have several of those. And they're on the street right now working the detail. So oh. we're able to get you this one for uh, for the video. Guys, take a look at that. Man. That thing is sick. Can I get some B-roll of the outside? Yeah, of course you can. Go for it. Now we'll, we'll touch on the lights a little bit later because it is bright outside. It's a typical day in Miami, so we'll just start from the uh, from the front and work our way back. It's a obviously a Chevy Tahoe. Uh, this is a police package Tahoe, so it's very important to know uh, that the suspension is a little bit lower. It is reinforced. Uh, the brakes are a little bit bigger and the tires are wider. Okay. On the side of the vehicle, we have our service, honor, and integrity badge. Uh, obviously, that's you know very important to our police department. Now, what's very special about this Tahoe is that the lettering police is subdued, okay? And that creates a, a, a tactical advantage for our officers so, you know, they're not able to be seen, you know, coming down the street from a mile away or anything like that. So we move ourselves to the back. On top are the cameras that we use, okay? And these are two cameras that are facing front and to the rear as well as the other side. This allows the car to pick up license plates coming towards them and coming by the side of them. So like I was explaining to you earlier about our, uh, about our tires, uh, we use Goodyear's. RSAs, uh, Eagles, great tires, especially for the type of work that we do. We're always constantly driving around. All right, so let's take it to the back here. So, like I was explaining to you earlier, we do our best to keep this vehicle subdued, but at the end of the day, we want people still to know they really look hard at it that it is a police vehicle. So we have our insignia down here, which is again subdued. Uh, you really got to look at it to, to know it's a police vehicle, and then that's again a tactical advantage for our, our officers. We have the, uh, the the famous yellow license plate, so that when you are behind it. You know, you'll know you're behind a police vehicle. You're here. Right. Car drove up. Absolutely. Who's driving the car? Uh, it's funny you ask that. Uh, you probably uh, can't see him because of our tinted windows, which is exactly why we have them. Uh, it's, a, it's a safety feature that we have for our officers, and it gives our officers more of a tactical advantage when operating these vehicles. But uh, while we're at it, why don't we meet the guy that's inside? Let's do it. Let's meet the man behind the wheel. What's going on? What's going on? Hey, my brother. Hey, Nick. How you doing? Good to see you. How's Officer there? Trejo, City of Sweetwater Police Department. Oh, man. I see Traffic by, unit. As I saw, I see by the, uh, the wheel. There you go, motors. So you're the expert in this car? I'm the expert. So can you run us down? Real quick. I'm going to give you a quick rundown. I'm going to demonstrate to you what our ALPR cameras are capable of doing and uh, what they're set for in the vehicle. ALPR stands for Automated License Plate Reader. Um, I mean, I like to call it the AKA, the Wally Mobile. If you look at these, it kind of looks like Wally's face, so that's why I call it that. Um, if you can see, they're equipped with uh, night vision lenses as well as we have it set up on a 360 degree field of view. So we pretty much capture everything that goes past us and away from us at all times. All right, so as you can see then, everything links up through these wiring here. It goes into a computer module that's uh, hidden within the vehicle and all that links up to our computer systems. And uh, you wanna take a look at it? Let's take a look. But first, can we get some B-roll? <laughs> Can you run down? Let's start with uh, the lights. How do we turn the lights on? All right, Nick, this is a very simple vehicle to operate, okay? 
um, to not complicate anything or any of the officers that are certified to use the ALPR. Uh, you know, it'll be very basic. You got your front lights, your rear lights, or your pursuit. Let me point out real quick that on the uh, other controllers we've seen, they're usually one, two, and three, but you guys have it simplified, not to confuse anybody, it's right there. One is rear, two would be front. And then you got your three, pursuit mode. Pursuit, as well as our PA system is uh, automatically attached to our light setup as well. So it's uh, very convenient to have. It's pretty much all in one. Okay. And uh, it goes right there. Looks good with the vehicle, I think. All right, so it attaches right there. And moving on. So I see you have some lights uh, on there. You got the deck inside the vehicle up there on top of the windshield. Like we mentioned, our lights are in this vehicle are gonna be subdued. We like to keep that element of surprise. Like I said, uh, all our wiring that funnels into the vehicle goes into a control module, which all at the end links up to our laptop over here. And uh, this is our actual system that uh, that runs our ALPR setup. You wanna go for a ride along, Nick? For real? Yeah. We can see how it works? We, you're gonna see how it works. Awesome. But uh -oh. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer, so I'm gonna let Officer Archie here what's, take the reins so on this. So what's transfer, explain. Transfer is uh, at the end of the day, we do our paperwork, turn it in, we gotta go inside the station, print it out, and uh, turn in our paperwork, get to go home to our families. Okay, sounds good. All right, man, well, I appreciate your time. Thank you, Nick. Thanks for uh, giving us a quick rundown. Now it's right along time. Right along time. Guys, have fun, enjoy, and awesome. Awesome. Perfect, perfect. Talk to me, Nick. Where are we headed? Nick, we're going to the Dolphin Mall uh, for uh, for the Nod Squad members that you have uh, worldwide. That's right. Mr. Worldwide. This is one of the largest malls in Dade County, okay? And it happens to fall within our jurisdiction. A lot of people in Miami didn't know that. Um, and that's where we're heading right now. Can you explain uh, to the Nod Squad, what, what's the importance of taking the license plate reader over to the Dolphin Mall? Well, uh, Nick, as you as you know, uh, bad guys like to shop too. Okay, so what we're doing is uh, when we come in here, um, this will be able to pick up uh, any type of uh, traffic offense, but uh, it can also pick up uh, real serious offenses. So if a vehicle is wanted out of another jurisdiction for, let's say, a homicide, uh, the information will get input into the system, into our LPR system, and it'll, hit, it'll give it a, a ping uh, when we hit that license plate. So I hear the LPR is doing its things, running tags, you got a couple uh, expired tags here and there. Absolutely. So, is there anything else? Any cool tidbits about this system? Um, yeah. Uh, for example, uh, all right. You see this car parked right here? See it. Okay. Let's say that that car was used in the commission or, or in an actual crime, uh, a violent felony, for example, maybe a homicide, and uh, we go into the system to see the, to run that tag, it would actually pinpoint that that vehicle was here at that exact time. And that piece of, of information can help investigators uh, piece together, you know, even solve the crime. So in essence, when you run the tag, it gets recorded in the system, GPS and everything. Everything. So. So that's good. Even if there's no hit on the, the vehicle, it does get recorded in the system. So later on, if that vehicle is involved in anything, you can run it through the LPR system and see where it's been pinging. So if that person frequents an area or that car frequents an area, you can see on the different days that the LPR system ran it. And I think, uh, correct me if I'm mistaken, the LPR system's also connected to all the other camera systems. Absolutely, they're also connected to the traffic cam systems and those also aid us in, uh, in picking up stolen vehicles that are driving throughout, uh, throughout the city, throughout the county. So that's the, when you say, when you say traffic cam systems, those are the little yes, the cameras uh, on top of the, the lights? Yes, there's, there's ALPRs that are attached or are fixed uh, to traffic, uh, traffic lights and uh, those help us uh, identify any stolen vehicles or vehicles that are involved in a violent uh, crime that's uh, moving around our city. I'm looking behind us. 
no cage. Explain. Yeah, uh, well, as you know, most police vehicles come equipped with a partition or a cage in the back. Uh, this one doesn't have it because we do not transport uh, prisoners in this vehicle. Okay, so that's that's the reason that there is no cage or no partition in this in this truck. Uh, so you do get, but what if you do make an arrest? What we'll do is we'll call out a road unit or uh, have another unit uh, assist us, <coughs> and they'll uh, they'll take that person for us. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna take you into uh, into IKEA real quick to the parking garage so I can show you the uh, the lights. Nice. So let's run down the lights. Uh, we went with the federal signal light package. Um, we went with the less conspicuous one so that you know we they, they don't see us coming from, from far away. We got some lights in the grill right here as you can see, as well as in the blinkery area. We'll take it up to the top. These are federal signal Viper S2 lights. As you can see, we've got uh, three sets of them inside right there. As we're moving on, we got the ones on the bottom here. Okay, red and blue standard flashing uh, so that the cars are easy to, uh, to be seen when clearing an intersection. We got some lights back here as well. Now moving on to the back, another set right here through the windshield, and we got some uh, some more mounted at the bottom, uh, fixed to the bumper. We got the different light patterns on our brake lights. Now that we're in a darker area, you can see that the infrared is on. Uh, during the day, usually you can't really see it that well, but now you see it now when we got uh, less light. Infrared, that means it's running tags at night? Uh, yes, absolutely. These things can run tags uh, at any time of the day, whether it's raining, not raining, doesn't matter. Oh, officer! Uh, what's up, All right, this is the part that everyone's been waiting for. The junk in the truck! Yeah. Oh yeah! Well, Nick, I gotta, I gotta tell you, man, there's not that much junk in this trunk. Uh-oh. So let me explain. What happened? Tell me. So, like I was telling you earlier, these vehicles are not anybody's take-home vehicle. As you know, all our officers have their own take-home vehicle. So when they are uh, using this one, they will transfer their equipment into this one um, and, and go throughout the day. So what kind of equipment would they put in here? Oh man, special equipment. We got our rifles that we put in there. We got our tactical gear that we would put in there. The rifles and tactical gear? Rifles and tactical gear. Wait a minute, wait. So you shortchanged this on rifles and tactical gear, man? Come on! So you want to see some rifles and tactical gear, huh, Nick? Alright guys, this is going to be the new segment that we add to this police car series. Uh, basically, you guys are going to have to play along. We already pre-filmed the rifles and all the tactical gear that these guys got. And believe me, there's some pretty awesome stuff. Actually, it's two rifles, two different kind of rifles. Uh, if you guys can guess what kind of rifle it is, put it down below. But anyways, we're going to play this game. It's going to be added to the segment to get you guys involved. We're going to do like we did in FHP, but only this time I already recorded the footage. So when you guys hit that mark number of likes, we'll immediately release the footage. Huh? Huh? Give me the number of likes. Let's go with uh, 3,000. 3,000 bears and not quite, man. These guys are going to get it, man. Hey, you know right. what? Hey, you guys, right. you guys are good. Watch this. Watch this. 3,000 likes, guys. Show them how it's done. And we're going to unlock the secret footage. Stuff. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you so much for showing us around the LPR here, a little bit how it works, a little bit behind it. Did you happen to bring a challenge coin? Actually, yes, I did. All right, guys. Got it, got it for you right here. We're back on track. Show it up. That's gonna be the front of it right there, Nick. Turn it around for you in the back. That's what you got. Three Waters' very own challenge coin. Uh, how many are you gonna give it away? Nick, we'll give away two coins. Two coins. Can you make it three? Nick, I'll make it five coins. Five coins! What? Yeah! 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 Yeah!
right guys, five coins, and this is how you're gonna win. Simple, I'm gonna put all the instructions down below so you guys can read it. First things first, you must subscribe to this channel. So go, go down there, uh, click subscribe, and then uh, you can move on to step number two. Step number two is you're gonna have to go over to Instagram. You're gonna go over to their Instagram page. You're gonna hit follow. Uh, what's the Instagram page? At Sweetwater PD. At Sweetwater PD. Make sure you go over there, follow, then you go over to my Instagram page, at Nick Off Duty, hit follow. And then once you see the trailer to this video posted on their Instagram channel, you're gonna comment done. Comment done. D-O-N-E. And then you'll be eligible to win one of these coins. So, uh, by the way, that's the most coins anyone's ever given oh, out yeah. here on Nick Off Duty. Oh, there you go. I'm happy to be a part of that. Sweetwater bringing it. Ha 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 My brother, man. Thank you Nick, so much, man. Appreciate you, man. Awesome car, and we got to do round two with those drones. Absolutely. We look forward to having you back. You have a great channel, man, and you have, uh, you have fans here in Sweetwater. Right awesome. Now. Listen, guys, do me a favor. Even if you don't want the coin, go over to the Instagram account. Click a follow support. Uh, this is how we're getting the departments to work and collaborate together. Uh, we're showing them love, so make sure you go over there. They have really good content. You're gonna see this guy all over the place. Their, their channel is gonna blow up. Once somebody finds it, I'm telling you, you guys will be hooked. I'm hooked. All right, hit me with the sign off. See you when I see you. And if I don't see you, then I'll see you. Mother! Ah!